from terminal contact at toe off to initial contact with the same foot, including the initial loading phase, the ipsilateral anonymous bone moves from a maximum anterior rotation to a posterior rotation. The hip flexors during the swing phase initiates the posterior anonymous rotation while heel contact and initial loading i.e. the ground reaction force is accentuated. So let's try and understand what's happening with this movement pattern. Well at toe off the ipsilateral anonymous bone is at its maximum anterior orientation. A positive number meaning that the pieces is higher than the aces. Now the reason why this happens is because the force is posterior to the acetabular axis and anterior orientation of an anonymous is individualistic. Some people are more anterior than others. The reason why it happens is because the force at toe off, pushing on that seesaw analogy, is greater posterior to the axis line than anterior to the axis line and it's going to push the, the anonymous bone forwards. Swing phase, the hip flexors are contracting, the momentum of the leg swinging through the air helps to push that anonymous bone posterior and those numbers will drop. As the limb moves through loading to mid stance, the ipsilateral anonymous converts from a posterior to anterior rotation. And this is because at initial contact, the force is now anterior to the acetabular axis and using that seesaw analogy again, the pelvis is pushed into a posterior rotation. But there's a point in mid stance where there's a crossover from posterior to anterior rotation. Now, the forces are posterior to the acetabular axis and the pelvis is encouraged to rotate anterior. This is individualistic depending on the starting point of the person's sacrum because some people are more anterior at this point than others. These forces need to be dissipated, so rotation at the pelvis doesn't only allow us to advance the limb, but also to absorb shock. As ever guys, thank you for watching the video. Uh, I hope it's been useful and educational. There's more to come. If you have any questions, leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe to our Biomechanics Academy YouTube channel.